Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and today we are going to start our video talking about each megahertz segment of the shortwave spectrum and it's going to be long wave, medium wave and shortwave that we're going to look at here. And each megahertz has something to offer and that's going to be interesting to look at. So we're going to start with the upper range of the shortwave spectrum. We're looking today on this video what's actually available what can you listen to from 29,000 to 30,000 kilohertz or what is 29 to 30 megahertz so of course not all receivers go there usually receivers that go up to 30 megahertz are what we call uh, communications receivers because they are uh, full coverage or general coverage so um, what's in this portion 29 to 30 you might be listening and saying hey there's nothing or looking at this video and saying look you've got nothing well that's the aspect of this very high frequency 29 megahertz being high in the HF shortwave spectrum it also means that the um, communications there are dependent very very dependent on solar activity and that for the most part unless you got local communications on that frequency most of the time when you're in the we are at the low end of the solar cycle right now there's not a lot of things happening here but there are some propagation characteristics that sometimes can light it up like sporadic e-skip for example so what, what is there in that range what can we listen to in that range well the a big chunk of the 29 megahertz to 30 megahertz spectrum is the 10 meter band. So from 29,000 all the way up to 29,700, which is pretty much what you see here on my screen right now with DSDR, that is the upper end of the 10 meter amateur radio band. But it's an interesting part for the 10 meter band because it has different modes. So by convention, you know, there are modes and frequencies that ham radio operators will um, actually obey these rules. They are not written in stone. It's not something that you have to do. But most ham radio operators will respect that. So in that um, spirit, from 29,000 to 29,200, 250, 300 sometimes, it's the AM portion of the 10 meter band. So when conditions are right and when I uh, was listening in and uh, when we had like you know we were at the top of solar activity I could hear a lot of AMers, amateur radio operators that love to use AM mode for their transmissions and typically a lot of them are probably in the first 100 uh, kilohertz so 29 to 21, 100, 29, 29, 150 is around the majority of the AMers that I've heard are there, but sometimes they can be higher in frequency. So that is the first chunk where the 10 meter band lies. Now, um, above 29,300 roughly, it's the FM portion of the 10 meter band, because yes, the 10 meter band and amateur radio does use FM in the shortwave spectrum and it's mostly the 10 meter band that has actually uh, this used so once again when actually there's a lot when there's solar activity or sporadic e-skip you will hear AM radio operators in the FM mode uh, that will actually operate roughly from 29300 to 29700 the first portion 293 to 29 600 roughly often are or 29329500 are uh, simplex meaning that it's communications that are uh, you know uh, two stations a little, little bit like uh, the regular communications of uh, amateur radio it's two stations talking to each other directly on that frequency 295 to 296 we have the entry point of many repeaters that actually are on 29600 to 29700 because yes the upper range of 29 megahertz 10 meter band has FM repeaters 
So once again, when, when the conditions are right, you can hear uh, between 29,600 and 29,700 repeaters from different areas. Uh, one that is very, very popular and heard quite a lot is 29,620, I believe, out of New York City. Uh, one that I heard so many times in the past, 29,660, I don't know if it still exists, but 29,660 was home to a very good uh, Virgin Islands repeater in the Caribbean. And so there are repeaters there. Uh, typically, um, most of them are scattered 10 kilohertz apart. And it's a great way to, uh, you know, familiarize yourself with FM mode in the upper range of 10 meters. And finally, what do we have in the last part of the spectrum? 29,700 to 30,000. What's in here? Well, 29,000 to uh, 700 to 30 megahertz, so 29.7 to 30 megahertz, is uh, mostly reserved for all sorts of utility stuff. I am, over the years, I've seen some uh, military and utility uh, signals that were actually noted in some lists. So when you look at utilities lists, but honestly, I probably think that with low solar cycle uh, that we are in and all of that, a lot of that probably doesn't isn't active really much uh, lately. But you might hear uh, military, you might hear some utilities, uh, all sorts of um, signals of you know unknown origin, but. 29,700 to 30,000 is home to technically some utilities. Uh, personally, what have I heard in here? Well, I've heard AMers, like I said, in the bottom part of 29 megahertz when the conditions are right. I've heard FM simplex and FM repeaters uh, and the uh, range of FM signals on a 10 meter band up to 29,700. But I honestly have never heard anything from 29,700 to 30,000. Once again, that doesn't mean there's nothing there. It just means that I never heard anything. So I hope that you like this new version of the megahertz by megahertz of the shortwave spectrum. Different because it uses my SDR as the uh, screen to show you what's up there. And uh, I hope that you enjoy my take on it. Um, you know, like I said, it will always have what you should technically hear. And what I heard, I will always mention what the things that I've heard. And um, if there are some notable frequencies within that range that I'm talking about, of course, I will share it. And hope that you enjoy this new series, looking again at the shortwave spectrum, megahertz by megahertz. So this was the 29 to 30 megahertz range. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.